everybody. Are, who's having a good time tonight? Yes, perfect. That's what we like to hear. Um, before John Odell and Wendy Ridge come back on stage, um, I just have a question. How many of you out there in the audience picked bluegrass? Any of them? A couple? A few of you? Well, I just wanted to let all bluegrass fans know and all pickers of bluegrass know that on September uh, 6th, 7th, and, or sorry, 7th, 8th, and 9th, uh, we will be having a bluegrass festival here. Bring your instruments. It's going to be open pick throughout anywhere on the property. And we're also going to be having camping here on the property. So if you've also ever wanted to camp at Vernistown, this is your opportunity. We're going to be having a band out of Nashville come, Johnny Campbell and the Bluegrass Drifters, um, Kellenberger Road, if you were here for the washout for the first uh, Bluegrass Room Barbecue. They're going to be returning along with perhaps a special surprise uh, bluegrass band. And also, if you know any young kids that are really into bluegrass music, Glenville State College out of West Virginia is coming down, and not only will they be performing on Saturday, they will be also hosting a day camp for any youth of the region who wants to come down and learn more about bluegrass. So please come to the Naswango Bluegrass Festival on September 7th, 8th, and 9th. Please mark your tech calendars and buy tickets ahead, especially if you want to camp because camping space is limited. So uh, I think... Uh, John Odell and Wendy Ridge are going to be coming up here pretty soon. And uh, thank you guys and enjoy your food and enjoy the rest of the show. When you're lonely, listen to this one. Got a 
kick it off. This one called It's a Lonesome Feeling. Mama's gone and so is my daddy 
But old Kentucky is so far from here. It's a lonesome road to feeling when you're trapped. A lonesome road, a lonesome road. Nobody cares a thing about you. It's a heavy load. It's a heavy load. It's a heavy load. It's a take a minute and introduce ourselves to you. Back on the bass fiddle. He hails from Annapolis, Maryland. He's been in a hundred bands, but never one as good as this one. His name is Bradley Sands. Give him a hand if you will, playing that bass. He works hard. Two weeks ago, Wednesday, he stuck his finger in a buzz saw, and uh, that was nice. Kind of cut into it, but we gave him some whiskey, and he was just fine. So, wasn't anything wrong. Over on the fiddle from uh, around Hyatt, you still live in Hyattsville, Tom? Hyattsville, Maryland, over by the Washington area. Tommy Lyon on the fiddle. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Over here with his back to us all. I've been doing this fella since he was a little boy. He's coming along on that banjo, he's doing well. He's a great banjo player. Scott Walker from Front Royal, Virginia. Yeah. And from, I don't know, where do you live now, Dave? Eldersburg. Eldersburg, Maryland. He's Eldersburg. another. He, you were out in Martinsburg, West Virginia for a long time. And now he's moved in. Now that he's gotten older, he's moved to Eldersburg. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm hot. The humor's not going to be that good. Okay. Dave Props on the mandolin. One of the finest. And uh, me, I'm just uh, John O'Dell, nobody. But thank you for having us. Nice to have you, John. There's an old tune I know you know, Lefty Frizzell. Ten years ago, on a cold, dark night, there was somebody killed. said, son, what is your alibi? If you were somewhere else, then you won't have to die. Well, I spoke not one word, though it meant my life, for I'd been in the arms of old day props wife.
place up in Howard County, Maryland. We played there 26 years. And um, the lady that owned it, her name was Gisela, Gisela Volper. She was from Germany. And she was, a, she hated this song. So we, we made it, well, you know, she's a war child and she was there at the occupation. And this song is an occupation too. I think it's gonna occupy my vocal. <laughs> well, are you gonna get it? Called Fraulein. Bluefield, West Virginia. Really? 
And he came clean from Bluefield, West Virginia. He was the only guy that ever came clean from Blue Res, I mean Bluefield, West Virginia. Ooh, boom. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, he used to sing this song when I was a kid. He, he liked to uh, tip a little bit, and he would come home, and he'd sing this song, and I remember it. And it's, I didn't know it at the time. It was bluegrass, because there was no bluegrass at that time. So, uh, But it is now. It's called Nobody's Business.
This is a Starling song, isn't it? Uh, no, actually, it's um, uh, Hot Rod. What's his name? Tim O'Brien. Tim O'Brien wrote this song. Yeah, John Starling did a great job on it.
Fargo Just as long as you're by my side
to take just a shorty here, and uh, Sarah's got something to tell you. Let me get this down here, Sarah. I'm sorry. That's okay. There you go. It's here, stool. We got the drawing here. Get your tickets out. It's a blue ticket. Alright everybody, As, uh, if you've gotten beer tonight, then you know that Tall Tales is doing, auctioning off some cool stuff, a camouflage hat, a t-shirt, uh, and a cornhole table. So the first thing is the hat, right? Yep, she's, she's showing it off in the back, that beautiful camouflage flop hat, good for fishing. <laughs> Made out of the finest nylon and cotton. Alright, so the winner of the hat is um, four nine four nine five five six. Bingo! Over there. And, and to collect your prize, please walk to the back and collect your prize. Alright, oh, oh, almost put it back. That would have been bad. Still might have. <laughs> All right, so the next winner, this is the winner of the t-shirt, 49495175. Anybody? 9517. Oh, oh, winner over there in the uh, green shirt and black hat. Now for the cornhole table. This is the one I really wanted, but I'm not allowed to play, so. Four, nine, four, nine, five, two, four. Over here, corn on table to the man in the tie-dye shirt. And thank you guys, and I'm gonna let, uh, uh, sorry, interrupted. No, no, I want you to continue. Okay, good. Grace us with your presence. And Wendy Ridge. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Who won? I didn't win. Everybody here. Everybody wins. Anyway, we're going to do you two more. If you got if you got that much indulgence left in you, we certainly have had a good time. This is a great place to play and a fantastic sound system. I mean, I worked with these guys before up at the Avalon Theater, and I knew they were going to do it right. Dave and I have this little song for you. Just a quick history of it. It was recorded first in 1927 by Perry Mason actor Raymond Burr. His uncle recorded it in 1927. See if you recognize somebody you heard do it. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? A bright sunny day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart. Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart? Is your heart? 
Take off his uh, the finger that he cut in the saw. Think you can do it? He's going for the Academy Award here, folks. He's, he really has hurt in the last couple gigs he played. He's had to quit because of that stupid finger. Well, the finger's not stupid. It's the one on the other end of it. Well, I mean, when you play bass, you don't play saw. Want to play a saw? <laughs> What are we doing? I forgot. Way oh, way downtown. Oh, way downtown. That's an easy hall. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll do this. We're gonna we're gonna bid you a fun good evening. And we had a wonderful time. We always do this song in memory of an old mandolin player that was in Windy Ridge for about ten or twelve years. His name was Caleb Lindler, and he was a great guy. He left this world way too early, and we always do this because it's a fun tune. It's called Way Downtown. With them big shoes on. Daddy said, Caleb, don't you rap no more. Oh, me, oh, my, what's gonna become of me? I've been downtown fooling around, no one to cry for me. Dan Cross, one more time on that man.